self-evident truths. It's good to be able to recognize them and they can actually guide us as a compass. We use them to mark our values and beliefs and we can use them to judge others to see if they have similar values and beliefs. Okay, how do you define a self-evident truth? Well, according to the dictionary, it's self-evident. In other words, it stands on its own. When people hear it, they just kind of go, yeah, that makes sense. A great example of a self-evident truth is the golden rule. It's good to treat others as you'd like to be treated. It's interesting that almost every religion, Judaism, Christianity, Buddha, uh, Taoism, um, Muslim, almost every religion has some reference to the golden rule. Worded differently, but the exact same thing. We know it's good to treat others as we like to be treated. It makes sense. Um, another way that you can tell a golden rule is you kind of sound like an idiot when you're arguing against it. Try telling someone that uh, you can treat them different than how they should treat you. You demand respect, but you don't have to give respect. We have a word for those type of people. They're immature and entitled, and we don't like that. Another uh, self-evident truth would be honesty is the best policy. Try explaining to someone why it's okay to deceive them, to deceive customers, suppliers, employees. Again, use and understand self-evident truths. When you see someone that goes against one of them, then you know if they're going against it with this group, they're mistreating them, they're going against um, one of your values or beliefs, then they'll do it to you. The idea is, again, it's character. Does a person have character or not? If they will mistreat someone or manipulate or deceive, then they'll do it to anyone. Self-evident truths. Great compass.